Good morning guys on day 39. Today is gonna be a short days as far as uh, distance goes, but we're climbing a thousand meters. It's supposed to take us, uh, what is it, like six hours? Leaving town already, it's 8.30. Overcasted, a little bit chilly. And instead of rain, we might actually get some uh, snow, which would be a change. Had my breakfast. I took the bread and made myself a sandwich, which is probably gonna be lunch. Enough eating a whole pizza for just two for myself. So, yeah. I will try to take the road as much as I can. If the terrain gets uh, too crazy like it did yesterday. Two more days and I'm out of Switzerland. Crazy. And I'm only reaching the halfway point when I get to the San Bernard's Pass. What an epic adventure. So I'm about to uh, head for the woods. Look at the entrance back there, pretty nice. Things are changing slowly, but they are. Today I've seen five pilgrims, including the uh, Rudolf, the German uh, pilgrim that I met yesterday. He came by the restaurant and uh, saw me and walked in and we had breakfast together. He, he just passed me right now. I'm sure I'm gonna catch up with him. And uh, also the father and daughter that I met yesterday by the church. They also passed me by and uh, Finally, pilgrims. <laughs> This is the sort of terrain that I've had to work with. Not bad, better than yesterday a thousand times. I just did a little quick uh, bathroom break. Just uh, for some reason when I'm at the hotel, I can't go. Then I'm here out in the woods, in the wilderness, and it's a trigger. <laughs> Good terrain, but it's been up, up, for the last uh, half an hour or so. And I don't think it's gonna stop. We gotta we got climb a thousand meters. All right, here we go. So I've been walking pretty much flat on this road for a little bit right now, next to the river. But uh, we reached a dead end. And the only way is up and it's a rough terrain. We had to go over that pass up there. And it's gonna be a tough one. That was a good one. <laughs> was that tough or what? <laughs> I'm back on the road. 
just for a little while. I want to get a coffee up ahead in this little uh, village. I parted ways uh, with uh, Rudolf. He's taking uh, the other route. Maybe I'll see him uh, tonight at the town that we're staying at since it's such a little village. Temperature is starting to uh, dip. Weather app says uh, it is 66. I doubt it. I think it's a lot colder than that. My mouth is starting to get a little, a little bit numb and so my ears, meaning it's probably in the 50s. My thermometer is better calibrated than that app. Taking out the big guns. For the first time in uh, the whole trip, I'm using uh, Chaya, Chaya LaBeouf. Uh, just had a little coffee and water at the restaurant. Little uh, break since the temperatures are starting to, uh, to dip. Car. And uh, gonna be following now the Via Francigena, which is gonna be very close to the main road. I think the, the toughest part of the day is over. I'm about halfway in distance, but not in time. Should probably be in town in uh, two hours. Who knows? It's 11 o'clock. I still have my sandwich from, uh, from the leftovers from breakfast. That's gonna be my lunch in a little bit. And I have a bottle of uh, Gatorade left. Check this out. Stinging nettle everywhere. Rudolf told me that uh, his wife uh, uses the leaves uh, to make tea for uh, indigestion. So who knew? Poisonous plant, good for indigestion. I'm not gonna eat it though. <laughs> I'd rather take a Pepto-Bismol. I think it's time to uh, have some lunch. And what a better place to have it, right? Here we go. Reminds me of uh, the sandwiches that I used to make myself in France. Ham, cheese, and bread. Mmm. For those of you who think I'm, ha I'm eating too much bread, I'm sorry, but France and Switzerland, I don't know about Italy yet. That's all they have. They have bread for breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack. And I love bread, so what can I say? Still losing weight. I don't know if you can tell. So the problem is not eating bread here. I can eat anything I want and I will lose the weight. The problem is when I get back home and my, uh, my appetite is still strong and my metabolism is running fast and wild and I'm, uh, and I'm not walking every day. That's when uh, I have to wash out what I eat. Okay, what's the deal here? Gotta go this way. But we have an electric fence right here. Check this out. And I'm supposed to go that way. Should I go under? Gonna be tricky with a, with a trolley. I don't wanna get shocked. I'm gonna go under.
I finally uh, made it to town. I took the last stretch on the road because uh, why not? <laughs> it was only a small distance. There's a campground here in this town, which believe me, I really thought about camping, but I didn't for two reasons. One, car. One, I only have one battery on this camera. And when you're camping, you don't get electricity, unless you, not if you're camping with your own tent. And two, the temperature tonight is gonna drop into the 40s or 30s, I'm not sure which. And my uh, thermal survival uh, whatever thing is only rated for like 50. So it's not gonna hold up. So I got a git. I, I really wanted to camp in Switzerland, you know? I actually wanted to camp in each country, but I didn't camp in England, so there goes that. It has been so cloudy the whole day that I'm sure that I'm missing the epic uh, shots of the mountain. Hopefully tomorrow it will clear a little bit, especially when I get to the pass. I don't want to get there and it's all covered in clouds. And if that happens, then I get one more shot the day after when I'm going down. Let's find that git. Oh look, there's an alberga here. Made it to uh, the Geet. Pretty nice. Uh, it has its own restaurant. This is more like uh, an alberga with uh, bunk beds and uh, I had to go up like uh, four flights of stairs, but it, it is nice and it is also very, very cold right now. So I'm going to go ahead and take a shower before the temperature dips even more. And uh, for the first time in the entire trip, I know the first, I took out my uh, down jacket. I was using it mostly as a pillow when I was camping and today I'm going to use it properly. Take a shower probably go down to the bar and uh, get something to eat light as of right now I have the dorm all to myself I don't know if that's gonna change or not there are all the places that people can stay here in the town there's an alberga there's a hotel there's a couple of other places so who knows Check out those clouds. So glad that I made it here in time. <laughs> and I didn't decide to do a double and go all the way to the pass today. A lot of people do it. It takes about 12 hours to make it to the top. I got time, man. I'm still two days ahead of schedule. There's no need to rush it. I had some something to eat. Broke my rules and had a beer. But I'm here with a... Germans and Italians, you know, and uh, for me Personally the the altitude here is not it's not a big deal. I've been to 24,000 feet 19,000 18,000 and uh, Those are serious mountains uh, 3,000 meters or what is it like 7,000 feet? Not a big deal even the mountain that I used to climb in LA was 10,000 feet and I would do that uh, almost every weekend so yeah, just letting time pass, <laughs> waiting for seven so I can have uh, dinner. Been uh, editing a few pictures and uh, a few videos and just resting. Tomorrow is a four or five hour day, only 11 uh, kilometers. Today was what, 14? But tomorrow I'm also uh, gaining a thousand meters. If things go sour, I'll jump to the road. It's been my my uh, my scapegoat, my 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 salvation. Uh, people here drive very well. You hear that, peeps from Miami and South America? Very very well. So yeah, just watching the tide roll in. 
Look at those clouds. Check this out, it is actually snowing. Very little, but wow. <laughs> Incredible. A lot of history in this town. And uh, will you believe it? Not only was the church open, but they have a pilgrim uh, stamp. So I managed to uh, get one of the last ones, at least on this uh, booklet, because I plan to start Italy with a brand new book. So here I am with my first group of pilgrims, having my first uh, pilgrim's meal. <laughs> Say hi. Rose. Say hi, hi, hi. And so the night comes to an end. I had dinner, my first uh, pilgrim dinner, not only from the menu, but with a group of pilgrims. Two Italians and a German. The Italians have done every Camino in Spain imaginable. And uh, for them, they started uh, a few days before me in Canterbury. So I guess I just caught up with them now. They're gonna finish in Aosta and uh, then do the rest of uh, Italy next year. I'm gonna keep on going. I had a salad, that was a pilgrim's uh, menu, salad, fish and fries, and then a little bit of a dessert and uh, an espresso. We talked for about two hours and uh, oh my god, tomorrow we're gonna have breakfast and probably start together. Don't know if we're gonna finish, you know, different ages, different stamina. I have a trolley. <laughs> so that's it. Great day. One day away from uh, the San Bernard's uh, Pass, the halfway point, and the day after that I'm in Italy. Unbelievable. All right, guys. See you tomorrow.